Do you think that people should bring tissues to this movie? <laughs> um, it does seem to be it's the kind of film that provokes uh, the some waterworks. Some ugly face crying. Some like, real, like, some like real tears. <laughs> Like Freeze that. frame, that's, that's going to yeah. be on the internet in about 10 days. There's much worse on the internet of me already. It's really okay. <laughs> I was going to bring something up, but I don't think it's appropriate. It's never appropriate. Yeah. Did you, you see the film? Both of you saw it already? Mm -hmm. Yes. And did, how did it make you feel? Did you get emotional watching it? I did. I went on an emotional roller coaster, and then I cried at the end, and it was very cathartic. <laughs> and I learned that I really want to just be clear that my daddy loves me, which he does. <laughs> so it's fine. Life's, life is okay. That's yep. really, that's what I went, that's really nutshell. just like really in a nutshell what happened to me when I watched the movie. I can't, it's very difficult for me to, she's better at this than I am of divorcing myself from watching the film, so I, it's difficult for me to watch a film as a film that I'm in. But um, what I will say is that, to, to Liz's point, is that uh, it's a pretty shared story amongst anyone who's born into this world, is that you're born, you want to be loved, you hope you have parents that love you, you're faulted and faulty and you try to do your best and that's in a nutshell what this story is about. It's just people trying to get better at being human. <laughs> being people, yeah. yeah. I think the casting was really good because you guys do look, there's a, you're, there's a similar look to you guys. Yeah, we're two decently looking white people. White people? It's true. <laughs> we're white. <laughs> yep. Waspish. We have blue eyes. And yeah. There's no one else that looks like us. None. <laughs> So it's a good thing None. that they found us. Yeah, unique. I think is the yeah, word that very most people use. Capital U. Yeah. I, I, so happy to be Chris Evans. Yeah. I think there's less than Chris one Pine. Chris, Chris, Chris Pine. Chris Pine. I'm Rachel McAdams. <laughs> Elizabeth Hicks. What? Less than one percent of the people look. Are you not Chris Evans? No, I'm Chris Klein. <laughs> I'm Chris, Chris Pine. Pine. Chris Pine. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Fucking confusing. <sighs> okay. Um. um <laughs> Um, what did you What did you love about this film? I just loved laughter. Me, <laughs> Chris. Just, I just loved Chris's butt. It's really tiny. God, you can like. Why, hold it. man? It's just like a little. This is a national show. It's just a little. Let's do thing. this. Let's do this sweet. regional. It's very sweet. I'm in an incredible shape. I usually work on my lower body. Earlier today, um, earlier today, he flexed his abs and a button popped across the room. <laughs> it's I a, swear it's to a God. cocktail party trick. It's just something I kind of bring out. I swear to God, that know? happened. Yeah. Okay. He's a handsome man. Uh, He's a very handsome some man. People, Liz? Some people say that. A Why lot did of you say he some just people. said it. A lot of people. <laughs> a lot? Some. Thank you. Yeah. Not some, a lot. Some of a lot of people okay. say it. I can tell you guys had a really good time working together on this. No. Not really. <laughs> this is this is the high point this of the, the whole experience <laughs> right now. To, bringing it to closure, thank God. What was it like working together? It was a slow burn. Um, it was fun. The, the, the scene that I think about the most is we got a chance. That we There's a scene at the taco stand where we're shooting the breeze, and it's the first time these characters get to know one another, and it's... Um, it was fun because it was the it was one scene where Alex kind of let us um, improv and ad lib, and to do that with Liz, who comes from such a comedy background, and it was fun to to uh, whatever the metaphor spar play spar tennis. yeah we told a lot of high school stories we did tell adjusted a lot of for character right exactly yeah. right and this is based on a true story. This, uh, the, the seed of the idea here of a, of a guy finding out he has a sister at 30, that happened to the writer-director, Alex Kurtzman. He was at a party, a woman came up to him and said, tap, 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 hey, guess what, I'm your sister. So it's, it's about learning that your parents, you don't know them, and they, his, our father had a secret life, and um, he has passed away, and this movie deals with the loss, uh, not just of him, but of the time that we could have shared together as siblings.